Hey anime fans, do you love a good underdog story? Where the main character starts out as a total weakling, gets bullied and humiliated, but then makes an epic comeback with crazy overpowered abilities? Well, you're in the right place for that, because today we're counting down the top 10 anime where the MC is humiliated for not having powers but returns overpowered. Before we start, be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. Let's get started with the intro. Starting off at number 10, we have the hidden dungeon only I can enter. Noir Stardia, a noble with no money and no magic, is treated like garbage by everyone around him. But when he discovers a hidden dungeon that only he can access, his luck changes. Inside, he meets a mysterious girl who blesses him with insanely overpowered abilities. Noir sets out to prove all his haters wrong, ready to show the world his true strength. Those bullies won't be laughing for long. At number 9, we have Dead Man Wonderland. Ganta Igarashi, a normal student, is framed for the brutal murder of his entire class. Damn. Sent to the twisted Dead Man Wonderland prison, he discovers he has the power to manipulate his own blood. With this deadly ability, Ganta becomes one of the fiercest fighters in the prison, ready to fight his way to freedom in a bloody good comeback story. Overall, it really is a great show to watch. Coming in at number 8 is the anime redo of Healer. Kieru, a kind healing hero, is abused and tortured by his allies. Seeking revenge, he uses his healing powers to turn back time. This time, he's not playing nice. Fueled by his knowledge of the future and his overpowered abilities, Kiaru sets out to make his tormentors pay in the most ruthless way imaginable. <clears throat> his enemies learn the hard way not to underestimate this healer. You need to watch this anime to know more. At lucky number 7, we have Hitori no Shita. Shang Chulen was just trying to pay his respects at his grandfather's grave when he suddenly gets attacked by zombies. Talk about a graveyard smackdown. Luckily, a mysterious girl named Feng Baobao comes to his rescue. What a name. But the real surprise is when Zhang discovers that he has the power of Raten Taisu, a secret and seriously overpowered martial art. With his new abilities, Zhang goes from zero to hero in no time. He teams up with Baobao to uncover the mysteries of his grandfather's past and take down the evil forces that threaten the world. At number 6, we have Ben 2. Not Ben 10 from your childhood. Sato Yu is a broke college student who discovers the secret world of Ben 2, a vicious battle royale over half price Ben 2 boxes at the local supermarket. At first, Sato gets his butt handed to him by the seasoned Bentu brawlers, but he refuses to give up and joins the Wolves, a group of the toughest fighters in the game. With their help, Sato masters the art of Bentu brawl and becomes one of the most feared fighters in the store. Who knew that bargain shopping could be so epic? Halfway through our list at number 5 is Spirit Chronicles. Haruto Amakawa is a 20-year-old college student who gets hit by a truck and dies. But instead of going to the afterlife, he finds himself reborn as Ryo in a fantasy world. Ryo has had a tough life being treated as a slave and falsely accused of a crime he didn't commit. But with Haruto's memories and a mysterious power awakening within him, Ryo sets out to get revenge and make a name for himself in this new world. Along the way, he gathers a loyal group of companions and uncovers the secrets of his past. You gotta check it out. At number 4, we have the heroic legend of Arslan. Prince Arslan is a kind-hearted and gentle soul, but his kingdom of Pars sees him as weak and unfit to rule. When the neighboring kingdom of Lusitania invades, Arslan's father is betrayed and the capital falls. God damn it, Arslan is forced to go on a run with his loyal servant, Daryun. But this exiled prince isn't gonna give up his kingdom without a fight. Oh yeah, with the help of his growing army and his newfound strength, Arslan sets out to take back his homeland and prove that he has what it takes to be a true king. Long live Prince Arslan! Blowing into the number 3 spot is Kei's No Stigma. Kazuma Yagami was born into the prestigious Kanagi family, known for their powerful fire magic. But when Kazuma fails to awaken any fire abilities, he's deemed a failure and banished from the family. 
Four years later, Kazuma returns as a master of wind magic and a total hottie. His family is shocked to see how much he's changed, but they're even more surprised when they find out that Kazuma is now a deadly wind magic user contracted to the Kanagi's rival family. Get ready for some serious family drama and some seriously cool magic battles. Sign me up. Coming in at number 2 is Ari Furata, from commonplace to world's strongest. Hajime Nagumo, a total otaku, gets summoned to another world with his classmates to fight monsters. While everyone else gets cool combat powers, Hajime only gets the lame transmutation ability. His classmates mock him and even betray him, leaving him to die in a dungeon. But Hajime refuses to go down like that. He survives by eating monsters and absorbing their powers, becoming stronger than anyone ever imagined. And badass self-crafted weapons, Hajime sets out to conquer the world that tried to destroy him. Oh yeah. And finally, taking the top spot on our list is the one and only Rising of the Shield Hero. Now Fumi Iwatani is summoned as one of the four legendary heroes, but unlike others, he's false He's falsely accused of a crime and becomes the most hated man in the kingdom. With no one to turn to and no way to fight back, Naofumi has to rely on his shield and wits to survive. As he levels up and gathers loyal companions, Naofumi discovers that his shield is more powerful than anyone realized. He sets out to clear his name and save the world, proving that even the most hated hero can rise to become the greatest of them all. And there you have it folks, the top 10 anime where the MC is humiliated for not having powers but returns overpowered. These underdog heroes prove that you should never give up, no matter how much the world tries to keep you down. So which of these comeback stories was your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome anime content. Until next time, see ya!